I love making my baby wipes homemade because I have found that they are best for my babies and a little bit older babies sensitive skin I have been doing this I think I started it with my second and I really really love it um, the coconut oil is just really really good for um, baby's bum and um, getting clean and I have found since switching to making my own baby wipes I rarely rarely deal with diaper rash um, I think the only times that I have to deal with it is if baby's like sick and something extra is going on uh, other than that I have not had to deal with diaper rash and that was actually the main reason that I switched in the first place I felt like I could not get it under control and I was looking for ways that would help with it and I loved that this was like a more natural way to do that instead of just putting more things on it. It was helping prevent the diaper rash instead of just treating the diaper rash. Um, but the other thing with making your wipes homemade is that you do save money. So I'm going to go through <laughs> the ingredients and my math real quick and then I will show you how I make my wipes homemade. So this makes 150 wipes for 89 cents. Um, so I'm going to do some comparisons on some brands of wipes. So compared to, and they are thinner because they're paper towels. So sometimes you grab like two instead of like you would grab one with regular wipes. So compared to 120 water wipes, which is my preferred brand if I have to buy wipes, um, it's 686 for 120. For 112 Pampers wipes, it's 648. For 120 Huggies wipes, it's 395. I think that's right. And for 150 Walmart brand, because I do think I remember those are thinner as well. It's two dollars and seventy cents. So obviously the store brands are going to be cheaper. Overall savings, and I'm estimating that you are using wipes for the first two years of a baby's life. I usually use them longer. I don't potty train my kids right at two years, but we'll just go with two years. And this is going to be an average of one of these every week and a half. Obviously, when baby is smaller and they're going more often, you're going to go through wipes faster. And then as they get older and they're not going to the bathroom as much, and they're pooping once a day, then you'll go through wipes. Um, they'll last you a little bit longer. So an average of a week and a half at my preferred water wipes. If I purchased those um, at the same rate, I would save $412 over those two years. And then going with um, a store brand, so like Walmart brand is what I did, I would save $125 over those two years. So that's pretty good. I think that's a, a good reason in and of itself to make homemade wipes, but with saving money and I feel like it's better for my baby's sensitive skin. Um, yeah, I am just super happy that I make wipes and it's really, really easy once you get the hang of it. I have, you know, it's super, super easy. So going through what you need, you do need some kind of container. I bought this years and years ago. I've been using it ever since. I do have to clean it out um, every once in a while, but it's just one of these Huggies wipes thing, and I will show you how to do that. I know some people have used um, like a ra cylinder Tupperware container, but then you have to screw it on and off. I just like this because you can pull the wipes through. Then you are going to need distilled water. Oh, and I should go through how I got the 89 cents. Okay, so for the distilled water, you need two cups. So I paid 70 cents 
for this gallon. So two cups go comes to nine cents for one thing of wipes. Um, coconut oil. So I get the organic pure um, coconut oil, and this one is seven dollars and thirty-eight cents. Um, and it has 60 tablespoons in it and you only need one tablespoon so that's 12 cents for that and then baby oil I think I ended up just getting this because I don't go through it like I don't use it for anything else besides that but you can get the store brand and it's cheaper so I did that for this pricing because I don't even know when I bought this um, $3.97 for 20 fluid ounces this is only three um, so that's 120 teaspoons, so that's only three cents for baby oil. And then whatever baby shampoo you use, um, I am really wanting to try homemade baby shampoo as well, but to make it easy, um, a bit ago I just got this, and why is it so ginormous? I wanted a smaller size Dove Sensitive Skin. I, is this one, I like to get the, um fragrance free but so fragrance free dove uh baby soap baby wash body wash is what it is and this thing which oh no that one's 34 fluid ounces but I looked up a price for 20 fluid ounces which is 120 teaspoons for 7.89 and it's seven cents so depending on what you use it may be a bit cheaper or not for that and that's where I got the 89 cents from oh <laughs> how do you make the wipes forgot this part so you need half a roll of um, paper towels so I get the Sam's Club kind and I pay $17.48 for 15 so half of that half of one is 58 cents um, so this is obviously the most expensive and get the select a size so you can get um, the the most wipes out of it so I'm going to go through how you make the wipes so I forgot my cutting board and my knife let me go get that real quick I kind of just like guess let's see let's put it on you here what half is and just cut it in half. Well, there we go. Okay, so then you save this one for next time. Or actually sometimes when baby is very small and I go through wipes a lot, I'll make two batches at a time. Um, just to save me a little bit of extra time, I can just do it all at once. But I'm just going to make one. So you just open up the container. You do have to squeeze it a little bit to fit in. And I will show you how it's going to fit in after we put the water on. So that looks like that. And then we need our distilled water. I'm gonna, I just use like a glass measuring thing, but whatever, you just measure out two cups. And this a bit more, but I'm gonna put this in the microwave. Oh, how long do I do it? I don't know, like two minutes, just to get it hot so that the coconut oil and all that will um, dissolve in it. So now that that is hot, do the coconut oil first, and it's one tablespoon of coconut oil, and you just kind of break it up and get it to dissolve. That'll finish dissolving in a second. And then, which I wonder if you could just skip the baby oil, maybe. I don't know, I've just always done it. So, a teaspoon of baby oil. And then a teaspoon of your baby wash. Just 
pretty good. There will be a little bit, like, depending on what type of body wash you use, there might be teeny tiny little things. But, okay, so then, I forgot to mention, I always put the cut part down. I don't know why. I, I guess so it's, like, less messy. I'm not really sure. So now, you've got to pour it all over. I usually do this over the sink and kind of get it and it will um, pull up you know a little bit in the bottom and then it will soak up in just a minute I'll tell you so there we go so it's very very hot right now um, so I'm gonna let this soak in all the way and uh, let it cool for probably like five minutes and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. All right, so now we're just going to remove the middle part and it's soft and most of the time comes out, well, sometimes it comes out really, really easily and then sometimes not. Let's see if it will this time. Ooh, there we go. Then it also pulls, you know, that first one through as well. And then uh, for this container, because I've got to squish it down to fit inside, I just do it with my hands. <laughs> you could do it with some sort of flat something. Then once you squish it down, you kind of do have to get your fingers in the middle of it um, to separate it out because it's pulling it from, you know, the bottom. So. You've got to get it separated out so that it will do a nice, good pull. And then you just feed it on through and close it up. It's a little bulgy, but then just boop, there's your wipe. Oh, and it's got some cardboard still on it. But there we go. And then another one comes through. Obviously, you could also go the route of the reusable cloth wipes. I have not gotten to that point, but I have known people who have done that, and that's an option, and then you just, you know, wash them and then reuse them, and that's obviously better for the environment and could save you even more money in the long run since the paper towels are the most expensive part of making the wipes. But this is how I do it. I hope that you liked today's video, maybe it helped you out. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.